Hello, and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to learn how to bucketize a column uh, with dot apply. Uh, and then we'll turn it into one hot encoded features using get dummies to be able to put it into our model. So here what we're going to do is we're going to just look at the distribution to get started. And so here what we'll do is I'm going to this thing. We're going to change the column name. So uh, here what we're going to do is we're going to define a function. So DEF indicator maker, the first value that we're going to pass this with dot apply down below is going to be the value in the row at each time. So it's going to iterate through, it's called a recursive function dot apply, uh, and it's going to iterate through every row and return the value. So the first position is the value of the row at the time. And then we're setting two other kind of standard uh, default parameters, so low and high. So we're going to do if lower than low category is equal to low else if higher than high is high and then else um so we're turning this continuous variable and you can do this kind of many many different forms but here we're turning into three categories so we have our function we'll then call our function our column that we're going to apply this on dot apply and then just the name notice no parentheses here we're going to return a column and so we're going to send this to a new column and we can see here we have value counts of low mid high and so if we wanted to then turn this into one hot encoded features. We'll use, we're going to return a data frame from pd.getDummies equals to, D, or sorry, we put df, we're passing it the whole data frame, and we're going to tell it the columns. And notice that there's an S here. So this is expecting a iterable object, so a list. Uh, so even though we're going to pass it only one thing, it's still expecting a list. So we have to give it a list uh, of the features we want to change. And voila, we get our uh, one hot encoded, our three features right here. When one is true, it's one. And when the other ones, there'll only be one true per column. And then the other ones will be zeros. Thank you very much uh, for joining me.